Hello, my name is Patrick, and like I've been telling you, I have seen the future. Now, uh, I'm, I made a video in 2008 that I posted on YouTube a couple of years ago in 2005. And it was pretty controversial. The YouTube community, uh, you know, some of them was, were up in arms doubting the veracity of my claims to have, have seen the year 2008 and certain predictions I made about the developments in the food industry, specifically made in that video. Okay, well, if you haven't seen it yet, I recommend you go click on it right now. This video will still be here. I literally have all the time in the world. Okay? Now, it's a hot day in 2006. I was just at the grocery store, and I saw something that I did not expect to see. Okay, so what we have here is a flavor experiment from Doritos, codenamed X13D. Okay, I feel vindicated. Now, you'll probably, you know, the naysayers are gonna say, well, you didn't predict this exact food product, Patrick, and that's true. I did miss this, uh, small development, but it is clear that the inexorable march towards Darwin Foods is exactly as I called, and we will see in 2008. Um, this is the beginning of open sourcing of foods, if you will. Um, in this experiment, they're allowing the public to collectively name the product, but soon sales will drive the rise and fall of new classes of products. Um, this, uh, this, I've done my research, and this uh, bag, this experimental X13D flavor, uh, is in fact the grandfather of what is to become one of the more popular chips in 2008, the cilantro wing. Now, those who are now on board with the Future Project, I'd like us to do an experiment of our own, okay? Um, let's enter this contest to name the chip and see if we can change the course of history. Uh, according to the Doritos website in 2008, this flavor is eventually supposed to be known as jalapeno cheeseburger. Let's make it our own. I mean, I'm open to suggestions at this point, but we just need to settle on one thing and then see if the ripple effects will carry through and change uh, what would, you know, what the Greeks would have called fate, Dame Fortuna. Let's see if we can play with that. Now, I don't know, I, my quantum physics isn't good enough to predict what the results are going to be. Um, it could be anything from, um, you know, a, a deus ex machina, preventing the name change to, you know, the implosion of the universe, any, anything. But my best guess is we're in for some Marty McFly type, you know, um, bags disappearing from people's hands, like slowly fading out of existence, uh, that sort of thing. And let's... Let's play with this, okay? Um, together, we literally can change history. Um, thank you for your participation, and look for more I've Seen the Future videos real soon.